Welcome, welcome. In this video, we're going to cover how to set up event goals, which are goals based on events that you're tracking. And of course, that means that you need to have at least one event configured for tracking. So to show you some examples of events that we're tracking in this Google Analytics reporting view. And so what we did here in order to track these events was we created the tracking in Google Tag Manager. So as you can see, there are these Google Analytics events for scroll tracking, phone number click, outbound link tracking, and file download. There are videos. The links are in the description for these four. So if you're interested in learning how to track events with those examples, check the, those links out in the description. We're going to use this to set up our event goals. In order to do that, click on this gear icon in the bottom left corner and this will bring you to the admin section for Google Analytics and we're going to go to this right column and under the right column we'll click on goals and this will show you all the goals that you have configured of course if this will be your first goal that you'll set up you won't have any so we're going to click on new goal and in this example we're going to track we're going to use scroll tracking for our event and we'll call this goal interested visitor So this next field is the goal slot ID. You can choose any of the goal slots available. And as you can see, we have 20 slots available. I'm just going to go with goal ID three. And then select the event radio. And then click continue. Now this is where you'll configure the event conditions based on your event category, your event action, event label, and event value. And if you click on each of these drop downs, you'll see you, you'll have multiple conditions that you can use. So by default, the event category, action, and label are set to equals to but you can also change the condition to begins with or regular expression so for the event category I want that to be equal to scroll depth and for event action well just to show you how it was set up in Google Tag Manager. So for those fields we have scroll depth and then we have this this variable for page URL and then for the event label it's our scroll depth threshold. So these are variables the event action and the event label but the event category is a static value so we're just going to set that field to scroll depth so we make sure that those values are equal and then for event action since it's a page URL what we're going to do is change this from equals to to regular expression and in the action field, I'm going to type 
period, asterisk. So this regular expression, it'll look for any character which is represented by the period and the asterisk tells Google Analytics to look for the previous character in the regular expression which in our case is the period which again means any single character as it appears zero or more times. That's what the asterisk means. So really this means that any character string is acceptable and it'll pass in any value that is stored in our page URL variable. And then for label, for the event label, we're going to say 50%. We want to target this event specifically for our event goal. And then you can also set an event value if you want to use this event value captured as the goal value for the conversion. So if you don't, then you can assign a monetary value to the conversion. Now, it's recommended that you should have either an actual monetary value tied to this conversion or if you calculate, for example, a, a monetary or economic value that's associated with this conversion. For example, if your analysis shows that for 50 conversions of this goal, you can earn $100. So then you can assign a goal value of $2 because you divide $100 by 50 conversions. But since I don't have a goal value or economic value tied to this specific event goal for scroll depth, I'm not going to use that event value or the goal value. So once we have this configured, we can verify to see how often this goal would convert based on the data from the past seven days. And if we click on that, we can see that this goal would have a 35.71 conversion rate based on that data. So I'm going to save this and we know that it, it'll work. So there's our goal. And of course we can test this quickly. If we go to our, our website, I'm just going to click on this link to load it and then make sure I scroll all the way down so that it passes the 50% threshold. And I'm going to go back to my Google Analytics in the left navigation, click on real time and then conversions. And we can see that the goal is indeed firing. There's our interested visitor goal and there's our, our conversion. So that's how you set up event goals Check out the website for more insight on using Google Analytics, Web Analytics, and finding insight. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and we'll see you in the next episode.